Good, Eddie. Uh, yep. We've we've asked you over the years about you know various awards, and, and you've kind of been consistent that you don't focus on that, whether it's All NBA or All Star, Defensive Player of the Year. But you play defense as if you care, uh, just in terms of the, the constant effort and the energy. So it, a game like tonight, like JJJ gets it last year. Does any part of that enter your mind, or are you just you're playing the same way? And sometimes people notice, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I'm playing the same way. Um, it wasn't a thing of, oh, he got it last year. Let me try to, you know, show him up or anything like that. Um, I just go and compete, you know, protect the rim, tell my guys to compete on the ball and funnel all the guys, you know, towards me. And uh, I'll take care of the rest. So um, I just go out there and just play as hard as I can on both ends of the floor, but especially especially on the defensive end, uh, knowing that I'm the anchor um, and got to protect all the guys. <laughs> You guys hadn't shot the ball well through the first 10 games, even though on paper it was like uh, you brought back guys who could shoot it and added guys who could shoot it. What do you think led to the breakthrough tonight, and what can you do to keep it going from beyond the arc? Um, you know, I think we just played with a sense of urgency tonight. Um, you know, guys played with a lot of confidence, playing a lot of in rhythm. Um, you know, our passes was on target tonight. Um, making the right reads, you know, passes wasn't late, um, you know, and, and I think this is probably the first game where you can see we kind of just was having fun, you know, getting back to, you know, Laker basketball. And, you know, when you're having fun and, you know, the next guy trusts you and make, you know, turn a good play to a great play um, or a good shot to a great shot, um, you know, it just, just shows that that player, you know, your teammate has confidence in you and, you know, you're able to line them up and, and knock them down. So um, I think that was just a bigger difference. You know, guys are playing for each other on both ends of the floor, um, you know, talking, communicating, and um, that kind of just led to, you know, guys knocking down shots. AD, um, you guys have been pretty honest about your expectations for Rui since he came because of his skill and what you guys kind of thought the type of player he could be and just kind of how he just needed consistency and and repetition. Um, obviously, the shot making was what it was tonight, but how encouraged you have you been with the other aspects of what he's done since he's come back in Houston, whether it be cutting, rebounding, defense, the other type of stuff? Uh, I'm just more you know, excited about his defense. I mean, he's been taking a challenge, you know, uh, since he came back in Houston, you know, challenge on KD uh, in Phoenix. Um, you know, anytime, you know, they have a elite, you know, wing, you know, I try to tell him all the time, like, you take the challenge. Um, you know, we know we can do offensively, you can score, get to that mid-range, shoot the three, um, attack the basket. But I think the biggest jump for him uh, and that next level is going to be on the defensive end, and um, he's shown that he can take on that challenge. So I think just him coming back, um, you know, defensively, he's been he's been really good, and it helps us with, you know, our schemes because now we can switch or uh, we can try different things with him knowing that, you know, he can guard one through five. I mean, you know, last year in playoffs, he, you know, guarded Jokic some. And um, so he's able to guard multiple positions. And, you know, if he continues to do, do what he's been doing the past couple of games or since he's been back in Houston, um, it only helped us more on defense. You're halfway through group play of this in-season tournament. You're able to host the game. Can you feel a little bit of extra juice, whether it's from uh, the opposing team, your team, just in these games? Uh, 500, sound real good to us, you know. <laughs> it's going to bring that juice, you know what I mean? Uh, no, nah, I just think, you know, um, obviously it's the end season tournament, but, you know, for us, you know, we just try to get better each and every game, you know, for ourselves. Um, it's always an extra feel, um, you know, whether it's from, you know, from, when we played in Phoenix, you know, that home crowd kind of got into it, so it was a kind of more of like a, you know, playoff game, but in-season tournament and then, you know, even at home. Um, but I think the, just the incentive of, of winning and um, the trophy, I guess, but I think guys are, you know, I heard one of our players, I'm going to say who, but it was like, man, and we beat Phoenix, like, that's one step closer to, to this 500. I never had that before, so it was like, you know, <laughs> That's a little extra motivation, um, but it's been fun. I mean, just all the obviously the uniforms tonight, the court. Um, it's been cool. Anthony, you've known Jackson longer than all of us have, but what did you think about him tonight? Uh, man, he played well, man. I mean, running the floor, you know, obviously got the lob blocking shots. Uh, that's what we need from him. 
uh, you know, the, the presence he has at the rim, all turning shots and blocking shots, and then his insane athletic ability to, you know, run a floor like he did and get the lob or, um, you know, most guys like that, you know, his size are not doing what he's doing. So, you know, we're, we're glad to have him. Uh, and I don't, I mean, I, I miss Jackson in New Orleans. So he, uh, I know him just as long as you, you guys, honestly. BT, you do your research, man. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, you mentioned that the lob with Jackson. Um, you're often on the receiving end of lobs. How impressive was that connection between him and Austin? Oh, that was very impressive. Uh, I mean, he jumps way higher than I do. So, you know, you just throw it to the rim. But that's what I try to, try to tell our guys, our guards, like, just throw it. You know, um, you know, we'll save you, obviously. You know, we're able to get put behind the defense a lot, and they are able to just throw the ball up, and, you know, it's our job to go catch it and finish it, catch it, come down, make a play or whatever. So, um, yeah, his, his his ability to get behind the defense, um, his ability to leap, you know, it just makes it easy, you know, for for us to just throw the ball up, and, you know, he'll go get it. AD, when the team shoots so well from three, how does that help on the defensive side of the ball? Um well, any time the ball goes in, we get a chance to set our defense. Uh, the way we've been shooting this season, I think it kind of been hurting us, you know, in transition, you know, bad misses or um, any type of miss. The teams are able to get out and run. Um, but when the ball is going in, then we're able to set our defense. So uh, I think that's just the biggest difference. Um, you know, we continue to shoot the ball like we did tonight. Uh, we'll be pretty, pretty good, and, and we can take care of that transition defense problem.